Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back through your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Zenfin Network, aka XDC. So with that being said, let's just dive on in and let's first start off with a few things. So one, big community events and Zenfin has been showing up. So what do you see today is the day we welcome developers to build on XDC at Hackverse IND, Southern India's largest Web3 hackathon, October 28th through the 29th. So this is happening right now. Um, and what do you see? We are thrilled to be the title sponsor of Hackverse, where innovation and collaboration and the future of Web3 technology converge. XDC Network is at the forefront of blockchain innovation, and we invite you to participate in this transformation experience this is very exciting because as you guys are probably all aware i absolutely love these events they are crucial for building out the community building out those that want to one also develop on the networks but also those that want to learn regarding the networks um a lot of this is crucial during the bear market i think that community engagement community building and growth is um a big driver of success in the bull run but also we know and i i know that this is going to be a little bit hard to read let me zoom in for you guys so we do see for developers interested in xdc network and its tools and they do outline this this the reason why i bring this up is like i said when we look at these networks during a bear market, the best time to build is during the bear market. The best time for growth is during the bear market. All of that is fuel that drives these tokens and the network success in the bull run and for many cycles uh, going forward. So I think that this is great and I think that's incredible to see Zinfin really kind of showing up the way that they have. And yes, Hackverse 2.0 is huge. It is happening in India, uh, which has become a pioneer for Web3 and the uh, leaders behind the Web3 space as well. They really want to become a crypto hub, just like many other areas around the world, like the UAE, Hong Kong, Singapore, and even the UK, plus many other ones. And uh, we already know that there's going to be a large turnout here. Uh, for an example, if we actually scroll up and and look down here, there's over 2,000 plus registrations pouring in. Um, the hackathon spends 36 hours of nonstop building involving 500 IRL developers who are enthusiastic about Web3 technologies. Also, 1,000 participants expect to join from various locations in India, including 300 plus IRL participants and also 800 plus online participants as well. So uh, this is pretty big, especially for developer growth and engagement. Um, very, very excited about this. Also beyond this, the European uh, Blockchain Convention is also happening with Zinfin playing a role within this. Um, this has already happened. This is from October 25th through the 26th. We have already seen this. Um, but this was a huge event as well, and Zenfin did make their way there. Um, this was over 5,000 plus attendees, 300 plus speakers, 200 plus sponsors and exhibitors, and also 10 million media reach. So this was a very exciting one as well. This is the largest blockchain event in Europe. Um, this has already happened, like I said, and uh, Zenfin did play a key role as well as many other players around this industry, like Algorand, for example, as well as a few other ones. But um, very exciting to see uh, Zinfin playing a key role in community growth and engagement as well uh, during these events. So figured I would bring that up. Now, on to the serious discussions. Security. Security and XDC are partnered together. For you guys that don't know about this, uh, we just talked about Security and Zinfin actually, or um, sorry, XLM and Stellar actually. Um, and we never really kind of talked a little bit about XDC and Zinfin being tied back to Security. So here we have September of 2022, so over a year ago now, XDC Network to integrate Security, DeFi, and compliance technology. This was a big one. So we see Security, a leading blockchain based financial markets infrastructure and products company, announced today that it will be deploying its proprietary digital asset composer on the XDC network, a state of the art blockchain with a mature ecosystem and a particular focus on real world applications in global trade and finance. Notably, XDC network is a leading enterprise ready hybrid blockchain for global trade and finance. Pretty big. When you see Digital Asset Composer is a unique no code platform for the uh, creation of digital assets, sophisticated financial instruments, such as smart contracts on blockchain networks and crowdsourced financial engineering in an open ecosystem of value. It will allow the XDC network community to easily compose financial instruments and entire DeFi protocols, fractionalized real world assets, and create highly customized utility NFTs. So this is pretty big. And um, they do talk a little bit more about yield aggregation, lending and borrowing, asset management, and even derivatives 
within this major digital asset composer. Zinfin could be exposed through a lot of this, but we also see a direct quote down here from the founding director of the XDC network. This is an important development for the XDC network ecosystem and for the institutional adoption of digital assets. Our collaboration with Securency addresses several regulatory and institutional stakeholder concerns regarding establishing and maintaining control of assets, especially in regard to regulated financial instruments such as digital bonds, trade finance distribution, stable coins, and even CBDCs. And here we have the CEO of Securency. We are extremely pleased to be partnering with the core team and the wider XDC network community to deploy Digital Asset Composer and enable decentralized access to the next gen financial processes and digitally native assets in a way that is decentralized, highly composable, and requires minimal blockchain knowledge. Security and the XDC network have put a serious marker down in terms of innovation within the space. Now, this is huge. But beyond that, we know that Security just recently signed a definitive agreement to be acquired by the DTCC, who is settling $2.4 quadrillion worth of securities per year. And we do see as we join forces with the DTCC, we are excited to bring together DTCC's infrastructure capabilities with Security's technology to embrace a future where the digitization of capital markets is at the forefront of innovation. These capabilities will allow the DTCC to partner with the industry to build a resilient and scalable infrastructure critical to the mass adoption of digital assets. Together, we will unlock opportunities to reimagine compliance, liquidity, efficiency, and interoperability in trading real-world assets on the blockchain. Now, for those that are wondering, we don't know what some of these partnerships like XDC from the past are going to uh, really kind of look like um, once we see this major acquisition happen. But I will say this. I do think that this is still very crucial to bring up, especially if we are going to see possibly Zinfin being exposed with the DTCC through security. I still think that this is a huge one, and this is all around institutional grade DeFi adoption and tapping into a lot of big areas of interest, like derivatives, for an example, which is quadrillions of dollars. But beyond that, what we recently seen was the CPMI, which I did report on with XRP. This is the Committee on Payments and Market Infrastructures, and this is all through the BIS. Now, they put out this full on report. You can actually see this if you guys do want to. This is the final report, Harmonized ISO 2022 Data Requirements for Enhancing Cross Border Payments final report. Um, they did have a few uh, players um, respond back and actually talk a little bit about what they um, wanted out of this. Um, and two of those major speakers actually were Zinfin as well as Ripple, as you guys do see on this list. And there was a few other players tied to this as well, some pretty large uh, banks and things like that. But beyond that, the only two major blockchain companies were Ripple and Zinfin. But beyond that, we do see the CPMI cross-border payments program, which is focused on enhancing cross-border payment speed and transparency while increasing access to cross-border payment services and reducing their cost are the key objectives of the G20 cross-border payments program. Since the G20 leaders endorsed the roadmap for enhancing cross-border payments in 2020, much has been accomplished in laying the foundations through the necessary stock uh, takes and analysis across all 19 building blocks. The CPMI leads the implementation of 11 of the 19 building blocks under the overall program. And here we have payment system interoperability and extension, legal uh, regulatory and supervisory frameworks, cross-border data exchange, and message standards. This is big. This is crucial to mention. And here you guys have the full on report. If you guys did want to go check this out, you guys are more than welcome to. But this is harmonized ISO 2022 data requirements for enhancing cross border payments. Now, another major name that uh, really kind of um, mentioned this a little bit and embraced this was the Bank of England, which we will talk about here in a second. But I want to scroll down to the bottom just to kind of give you guys an insight on all of the major players that were tied to uh, this full on report. These are all major banks from around the world. We're talking about Reserve Bank of Australia, Central Bank of uh, um, Brazil, Bank of Canada, the People's Bank of China, Deutsche, uh, Bank of England, European uh, Central Bank, Hong Kong Monetary Authority, the Reserve Bank of India, Bank of Indonesia, Bank of Italy, Bank of Japan, Korea, Mexico, South African Reserve Bank. And the list just goes on here. And listen, as we look at a lot of these players, and we look at the only actual companies from the space that were able to mention anything and respond back to this, Ripple and Zinfin. That is crucial. This is why I think that Zinfin is a leader of its own. Listen, let it be known 
that Zinfin is an absolute monster that's completely overlooked. Nobody cares about XDC. The only time that I seen XDC being mentioned quite a bit was back in the summer when it started to launch a little bit to almost 10 cents. Now that we came back down, nobody cares about it again. Now is the time that you want to be tapping in and you want to be looking into XDC and Zinfin. But beyond that, the Bank of England welcomes the release of the BIS CPMI harmonized ISO 2022 data requirements for cross-border payments. Again, really kind of talking a little bit about um, their plans on cross-border payments and how to implement these major changes to really kind of see the major efficiencies uh, regarding um, cross-border payments and tapping into new age technology. And we actually see that the data requirements are uh, to be mandated by the end of 2025 and the new market infrastructure will be in place by then. It's very significant. The UK has been a leader regarding innovation. We know that they were the, the leaders behind the Electronic Trade Documents Act, which does mean significant, significant change happening around trade finance. And we know that that is tapped in with uh, Zinfin as well, because Zinfin has been heavily focused on trade finance for a very long time. But outside of all of this, why am I very excited about Zinfin being t uh, tied back to the CPMI group? Well, because over here, shout out to ISO 2022, let's do it. The task of ISO 2022 is simply to adapt the message so that faster payments through CBDC, DLT, and fiat are possible. Plus, Impul uses XDC and RippleNet on-demand liquidity for cross-border settlement via XRP. That means that Ripple and XRP, or sorry, Ripple and um, XDC being mentioned on the CPMI report are crucial because they can both be tapped in through Impul because Impul does have a major integration within Zinfin. But here you guys have the full-on uh, document regarding this. Very interesting. Then over here, we have the highlighted um, information that's very crucial to note. The task of ISO 2022 is simply to adapt the message so that faster payments and debits through stablecoin, CBDCs, DLT, and fiat are possible in the future. And in addition, AML slash KYC are better integrated into the process because with .xml syntax, more complex data can be integrated into the messages. As I said, this only affects the message of the payment order and not the sending of funds. And they do mention crypto here. Um, here we also have... Down here, Impul uses Zinfin XDC and RippleNet on demand liquidity for this, for example, which a software does not other, uh, sorry, um, for this, for example, which a software does nothing other than cross border settlement via XRP as an intermediate translator. Very significant, very interesting as well. But then also over here, here you guys have R3 and quarter from XX1133, 122020, uh, or sorry, 1221 and 11. And here we have R3 with all of the major connections. Zinfin as the hybrid um, blockchain. This connects pretty much everything back to Impul uh, through R3. This is how it's exposed with R3. And then also you have the DTCC. You have the connections from the DTCC to Swift. You also have the BIS with all of the major projects. But then you also have SBI R3 Japan, which can connect right back to Ripple and even also XDC. Also, over here in terms of Impul, next-gen messaging API and payment rails for institutional leaders. Here you guys have the advanced solutions and who can benefit. When we look at Impul, I think that Impul is probably one of the most overlooked project stacks under the uh, Zinfin ecosystem. It is a leader around payments, and they are a crucial player around cross-border payments specifically. But here you guys have our ecosystem partners, R3, uh, Fluent, Trace Financial, and of course, XDC. And then the last two quotes that I do want to bring up, which is this one. The XTC network has been explicitly architected and developed for enterprise grade finance with a focus on trade finance, financial messaging, and direct access to R3's core to platform at its core. Yet the network also has plenty of utility for the retail community. And also over here, regulatory agencies and financial institutions have selected both Corda and the XTC network a suitable platforms to engage with blockchain technology. They did not just randomly throw a dart at a board. Zinfin, along with Ripple, are two major leaders in this space. XRP as a currency is exposed through RippleNet, but XDC plays a pivotal role within the XDC network and all of these major connections and with ISO 2022 and with you know new payments rising and you know, trade finance being disrupted. 
I do think that XDC is a must hold and I think that's a must look at token as well because if you are miss, missing out on XDC, Tony, you're making a big mistake in my opinion. You need to be looking at this much more, um, especially even now that utility is really becoming a big thing. Um, I think that over the course of the next two years alone, utility is going to take this market by storm. And I really think that that's going to be a major price driver as well um, in the future. So pay attention to Zinfin. It's a crucial token, especially when we look at the future um, and what's happening around finance and, you know, many other industries out there as well. But with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, definitely leave a like, subscribe, to notifications on if you guys have more free content. You guys are more than welcome to follow me on Twitter and join the free Discord in the description below. And with that being said, guys, this has been Nick. Peace out.